and can't get rid of all assault weapons. Um. <laughs> All right, well, while you're thinking of your answer, one of you can ask a question. Um, but what is your response to that after the battle was lifted? The murdering rate has, has been just keep on falling. How, how much did it fall? 2.6. Okay, well, 7% um, is the decrease in total uh, gun murders since the, the um, or during the ban. So it decreased more actually under the ban than it, than it um, decreased after it was lifted. You want to ask a question? Sure. Um, it's okay. Um, Let's see. You say the ban is ineffective, but it makes it harder to, to get weapons and resulted in a decrease in the number of murders, and those that were committed were less likely to be committed with these dangerous assault weapons. How do you respond? Don't go down. Like, yes, like, even after that, um, people can, can't still get weapons, even though it, it's lessened. Yeah, but, um, I mean, there, there's, there's fewer. So that actually, you know, that's, that's a positive, that's a move in the right direction. Ask another question. Uh, Jessica, ask a question. Okay. How much time is left? What's your timer now? Um, two minutes. 12 seconds. If it's true that you're not allowed to have a dangerous and unusual weapon, like a nuclear weapon or a tank or an F-16, why should you be able to have a personal weapon of mass destruction, like an assault weapon? Um, it's for a punk but our information says explicitly that it was not designed. Why do you need a hundred bullets to shoot a deer? <laughs> well, obviously, like the owner of this weapon of mass destruction was. Time!